Hey, hey, my friends. Happy Thursday. Sorry, I'm a couple minutes late. Um, I didn't realize what time it was. The day is flying by. I have a crazy day of meetings and things and, and lives and whatnot. So I've um, been trying to get stuff done in between. I had to do a brain dump too. This was, I think, part of the reason why I've been in a funk. If you guys saw my post earlier, I mentioned that I've been a little funky lately. Do you guys ever get in moods like that? Nothing, there's nothing, completely nothing wrong. Like everything in my life is good. I'm very grateful. I'm happy. It's just, I've been feeling off. And so I think some of it's sleep deprivation. I've been having trouble sleeping. So that's um, always no fun. Although I will say the last two nights I slept um, pretty good, but I still feel just kind of groggy. So I don't know what that is. Um, but then I did a brain dump for you guys. This is two pages of stuff that I did a brain dump of. Um, some of it's creative escape stuff and so that kind of thing. So I've been writing out all the things. And I think because there's so much in my head that makes me kind of funky too. And then I was just reflecting a little while ago. It kind of dawned on me um, when I was looking at my calendar that actually this weekend will mark 18 years since I lost my dad. And it's really strange, and I've talked about this before, how, you know, after 18 years, I don't really think about the date like I used to. Like, it used to be like this beating drum as I got closer to the day, right? It would just be kind of in my face. And now, like, I don't really consciously think, oh, here comes the anniversary date, but my body seems to know. Like I, I posted about that, I think it was early or maybe early last year or mid last year, I had found an article about that and how like there's almost like an internal clock that um, that kind of puts you in a funk because of that. So that might be leading to it too. And then yes, absolutely, Donna, the weather doesn't help and we're expecting a little bit more snow tomorrow. And I blame that completely on Nate and his dad for putting away their snow blowers. Oh, do they not know anything? We live in New England. You leave your shovel out until at least April, <laughs> right? I used to yell at my mom and make her leave my shovel out until uh, the snow shovel out until um, my birthday, which is May 5th, because I wanted to make sure we didn't get any snow. So, um, yeah, so that's that's coming tonight, too. And at first, they were just going to say we were going to get mostly rain, but it looks like we might get three to five inches. So I'm trying to get all my design work and stuff like that done here in the office because I may end up working from home tomorrow if it's really crappy. I know it's only like a five five minute drive for me from the house but you know there's something fun about a snow day right so I can stay home and cuddle with Shelby and do computer work and stuff like that at home tomorrow if it really really is that bad so that's what I'm working on today and that's why I'm kind of out of the whack but thank you all for your sweet messages you're too kind um just a bunch of crud but all is good so today because I was let so last minute and didn't realize the time I still have all the stuff on my desk because I didn't clean on Tuesday from my um uh, whatchamacallit, virtual card class. So I'm going to use the same stuff. Uh-oh, it looks like I froze in a very unflattering position, may I add? Come on. So, oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to take my Wi-Fi off here. Let's see if that helps. There we go. Um, it looks like I came back. Um, so um, I'm going to case myself, and I'm going to use the same supplies I was using on Tuesday. So let me go ahead and turn this around. Make sure this got caught up. Here we go. So I'm going to put this in here. Get us situated. Make sure we are good to go. Looks good now. Okay, hopefully you guys are all back. It was really um, frozen for me for a second. So in case you didn't see on, third, on Tuesday, I did these three cards with the Hello, Friendly Hello, um, bundle that's a celebration goodie so you guys celebration is ending on Monday it's insane so if you had anything you needed make sure you order between now and Monday because then you get to pick freebies and this is one of the freebies for a hundred dollar order you can see it's some really really pretty paper um, that's one side and then the back side has like more prints and patterns and this bundle comes with the paper and the coordinating stamp set so it's a hundred dollar reward item um, so that is um, what I'm working with again today. So, um, oh, 
Patty, that's sad. That's actually the same day as my dad. It's February 27th, which is Sunday, and it will be 18 years, which is just insanity. So yeah, it definitely catches up with you without you even knowing. I, fa I feel like in the first couple of years, like you obviously were very aware of the date and you were very aware of it coming. And now um, I don't necessarily consciously think, oh, here comes the date, but my body always knows. It always kind of puts me in a little bit of a funk. Um, so, so that's that. But now that I'm aware of it, I will put pick a way to celebrate him and, you know, um, do something fun. I'll probably have some ice cream that day because we used to always have uh, a bowl of ice cream before we go to bed every night. That was kind of our thing. He'd come and knock on my bedroom door and be like, you want some ice cream? And I'd be like, yep. So we'd go out and we'd sit and watch a nature movie, usually not a nature movie, a nature channel, because that's always what they watched. And we would eat some ice cream. So that's probably what I'll do on Sunday, just because. Uh, anyway, um, Yes, yes, I will remind all of you about the Paper Pumpkin subscription, Liz, too. I was just, I just sent an email out to my team that Paper Pumpkin ends, or not Paper Pumpkin, yeah, well, Celebration ends on Monday and Paper Pumpkin goes up in price on Tuesday. So if you guys want a prepaid subscription, you can lock in the current prices now, plus get Celebration rewards. So lots of great ways to take advantage of Celebration in the last few days. All right, so this is the cards that we did on Tuesday, but I wanted to do a fun fold card. So I pulled out one of my older ones. So this is a card I did quite some time ago, um, but it's a fun fold and I like it. I don't know, I think it's like a Z fold or I forget what it's called. It's usually... People usually do them this way, um, but I did this one that way. Um, I have no idea how we'll do it this way today, but I already cut the two base pieces so that we can create this card on the fly. So I'm gonna recreate that card using the supplies I was using on Tuesday for the, um, the virtual card class. So first things first, you're gonna need a four and a quarter by 11 inch piece of cardstock and then a two and three quarters by 10 inch piece of cardstock. So I used the same colors on both of these. So the original card has the same color, the base and the same color of that, but you could do two different colors if you wanted to. I just, I, I don't know, I just felt like doing the same thing. I didn't really try it two different colors. I'm not sure how it would work, but I just liked it this way. So I'm actually gonna move you just a slight bit for a second because my measurements are under where my thing is. So I will put it back in a second so you guys are centered because that will bug me. But for this piece, we need to score the big piece at two and three quarters. So I'm gonna line up this edge at two and three quarters and five and a half. So I'm gonna do that, okay? And then I'm gonna go ahead and um, do the smaller piece. So on the long edge mm -hmm. here, I'm gonna do the smaller one at four and three quarters and I'll up to I'll update the description of this video. Whoop, I almost cut with the measurements for you too. And then seven and a half. So I need to extend this and do seven and a half. And then I can put my camera back. Oh, I thought I was gonna cut it again. And there's that's all you need for the measurements for scoring. Okay, so now let me center this again so you guys are, sorry. I gotta, I gotta get it centered. There we go. Ah, sorry. Okay, so there's our two pieces. So this one is pretty simple. You're gonna fold the card in half, just like you normally would. So the five and a half inch score is just to do a regular card base, right? And then you're gonna take this one and just go backwards, okay? So that's the mechanism for that piece. So we'll do that, right? And then this piece, it has the, um, the like larger panel for the front of the card. So this one's gonna go backwards. So we'll do that. And then this one goes forward like that. Okay. And what that does is it's gonna set up our little mechan Z fold mechanism. So that's gonna get taped to there and that's gonna get taped to there. But before we do that, we wanna figure out, um, I'm gonna do it, I think I'm gonna do it this way. I'm gonna do this card this way. Um, like I said, I'm, I'm designing the rest of this on the fly. I'm just repeating the mechanism I used on the other card. And like I said, this one I did that way, but we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna play around a little bit. So what I know I'm gonna need is I'm gonna need a white insert for this. Hopefully I have some white cardstock over here, or maybe actually, I guess I don't have to do white. Oh, I do. Look, I do have some white, so we'll just do white. I'm gonna do a four by five and a quarter. 
And actually, hold on, let me think for a second. You know what? I'm not going to do white. I'm going to use that. I will use the white in a second. But let's go ahead and use a pattern to add some interest. So do I have that blue pattern cut already? I have this one, but I think that's too small. I want it to be bigger. So I'm going to grab that and we'll do um actually maybe this one that's pretty but i gotta make sure it's the right way and maybe we'll do both that way so let me do this i'm gonna do uh four by five and a quarter that's gonna be the map piece i want it actually the bird kind of flips around in all sorts of directions so i guess it doesn't matter and then i'll do this four like that so that's gonna go on my base piece like this and what I'm gonna do is I'll attach this here actually yeah and it's not gonna matter because this is gonna be here this is gonna be the writing piece let me just check this out yeah see there's just a little writing piece here so it doesn't matter so yeah that's totally what we're gonna do then we're gonna measure this don't mind me as I talk to myself so this is two and three quarters by four and a quarter so I'm going to do two and a half by four for the other piece. So, um, let's do this side because then the birds will be kind of right side up. Two and a half by four. Even though the bird goes, well, actually, let's try this side. The bird goes one way in one direction and the other way in the other. So it doesn't really matter. So now this I'm going to put here. Okay, so that's going to be that part of my card. Let me just see. And then, so this will get attached down like that. And then that's going to get attached down like that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and attach those. Because I'm pretty sure that's all I need to do for that. Okay. So we'll attach this little panel here. Okay. Okay, and then this one we're going to do this way. Okay. Like that. Okay, so there's that mechanism. Now, this is going to go here and that's going to go here. I'm just thinking, yeah, I think I can probably attach that now. But we'll wait just in case something comes up. I'm going to pick a pattern for this one. So this one measures four and three quarters by two and three quarters. So we're going to do four and a half by two and a half. And I already know I want to use this pattern, I think. I think that's going to be okay. Is that too busy? No, I don't think so. I think that'll be good. Let me just see. Um, I think I have... Where is, oh, this is the other pattern I was, oh, actually, I'll use this piece because it's smaller. It's a scrap. What's on the back of this one, actually? Nah. Let's see. The other option is this one. But no, I like the stripes. We're going to use the stripes. So now what did I say? Two and a half by four and a half. And I want the, pad, the lines to go up and down, so I'm going to cut that at two and a half. Like that, and four and a half. I love this paper. It's just screams spring to me, which even though we're only going into March, which means we probably still have another month of this crazy weather, I'm ready for spring. All right, so I'm gonna attach that down. Uh, actually, I'm just thinking, I probably want some ribbon, so I'm trying to decide if I want that. I guess I can put it around the panel if I decide to do that because, yeah, I can do that because then it still won't show. I don't like my ribbon to show inside generally. So I'm going to attach this like that. Okay. And then this can go here and that can get taped down there. So let me just, you just wanna make sure you just add the adhesive to the edge, however, because you don't wanna tape the whole thing so that it tapes closed. So I'm gonna do that. Actually, it needs to go over just a little bit. Okay, 
and then I'll flip this open. Uh oh, ha! <laughs> that did not work. Look what happened. See? Oh, oh, actually no. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so now I'll take this side, and I'm gonna put tape on the whole thing because I want that to kind of be situated. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna close the card, and that way it will be there. Perfect. Now we can do a little bit of decorating inside. So I'm going to use this part for my little sentiment and I'm going to do pattern paper here. So this one is two and three quarters. So we'll do two and a half. I think it's probably by two and a half, right? Yep. Two and a half by two and a half. And I think I'm going to use the purple. Um, yeah, this, this color will be good in there. I think so. I have a small little scrap piece here. What's on the back of that? Yeah. Or I could do green, but I like, I think I like the purple. The purple color stood out more for me. So we'll cut this at two and a half. Two and a half. The other thing that kind of put me in a little bit of a funky mood this week, so I'm helping my stepdaughter. Well, actually, we finished my stepdaughter's um, wedding invitations this week. And stupid me. <laughs> we didn't put the time or the date on the invitation. So... <laughs> Now we have to pull back the few invitations that went out and redo the inserts. And um, yeah, that was just a dumb thing and that just made me feel really ridiculous because I should have known better. But you know, sometimes we all do dumb stuff, right? All right, so then this piece is gonna be two and a quarter by two and a half. So it's not quite square. Two and a quarter by two and a half for white. But yeah, that was making me feel a little. And what's really funny is the day before, because she had dropped off our invitation at the house, and so Nate was looking at it, and he's like, you know, he's like, it, you just this just so impresses me what you do. Like I'm so impressed by, you know, what you're able to pull together and think about. And I'm like, oh, well, it was a collaborative effort, and you know, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> and then I told him the next day, I'm like, uh, remember how you said you're, you know that I impress you with what I do. <laughs> I'm like, maybe not so much because I'm having a rough week here. All right. <laughs> Happens to the best of us though. All right, there we go. There we are. So there's my little fun fold here. Okay, so now we need to decorate a little bit. So I think I'm gonna use the Hello Friend on the front, um, this stamp here. And I'll use the happy birthday inside because that will fit right there nicely. So let's do that. Okay. I'm just going to stick that right in the middle. And then all you have to do is put your name on the bottom and you're good to go. Right. I'm doing lots of birthday cards because I like to do birthdays at the beginning of the year because then you have a nice stash of them for the year. Right. Okay. So now I need, I feel like I need a little, um, panel of some sort. So I'm thinking it's always dangerous when I start thinking. I'm thinking maybe the purple just to kind of pull that in again. Let me grab my, I'm going to cut this down because I'm going to use my mini and um, my dot is which are over here. Whoops. I'm using the um, This is still out from the other day. I'm using my mini stamp and cut and emboss and the stitch so sweetly dies, which I love. All right, so I don't know if I want to use the same um, one that I used on Thursday. So this is um, this is the label I used. I will show the invite we made, but <laughs> I'm going to wait until I fix it. Um, because, yeah, well, I guess it doesn't really matter. It's the same thing, essentially. I just had to update the dates and stuff. So I will show you at the end. I'll show you what we did. Um, actually, you know what? Maybe I should wait because I don't, can, they, they haven't all gone out. So I will show you once Kenzie has put the, sent them all out. And that way I don't ruin anything because I don't, I don't think anybody she knows watches me. But just in case, um, I'll, I want her to be able to send them out first. All right, so I think I'm going to use this guy. Will this fit the Hello Friend? And that way I can fix it, too which will make me happy. Um, 
Oy. She's like, oh, we can just, she was, she's really good. She's so sweet. She's not a bridezilla, thank goodness. <laughs> because, yeah, I would have been annoyed. But again, we're doing, we, we had slave labor here. She had to work to do them too. I made her work and we didn't do it right. But um, she's been really good. So I told her I will do the fix and we'll get it done. So I think I'm going to do this one. So let's cut this out of the purple. And it's funny because the invitation she, so I had to use contraband on the invitation because she wanted cowboy boots on in the inside because her and her um, groomsmen are all wearing cowboy boots. So we wanted to include that. So I had to get one of those. I did not have a stamp right now that had from Stampin' Up that had that, but we had to color, we had to mask 85 of them and then color 85 of them and she was doing I was doing the masking on the first ones and she did all the coloring but I told her that I would do the coloring on the second round so kind of have my work cut out for me be doing a lot of coloring all right so yeah I'm gonna put that there and then I think I want a white layer so I'm gonna do the same thing we did the last time I'm gonna cut this out again of course that's not quite big enough so let me cut another piece of white here. All right, will that fit? That will fit. Okay, so now I'm gonna put this through. And we're gonna do the same thing we did last time and cut along the um, perforated edges. Not perforated, the stitch edges. All right, so give me, do that. Get this out of my way. Put that down on the other side here. It's funny, um, I have my little space heater down here on the ground next to me because I've been freezing today. Because we went from, we jumped like 20, 20 degrees the last two days. Yesterday it was like 51. We got up to 52 yesterday. And today it's like 32, maybe even down into the 20s already again. So I'm freezing now. So I'm just gonna cut along this I think I don't know I might change my mind like I said this is Thursday throwdown so this is what I'm thinking at the moment I'm gonna cut the edges off this one and then I can stamp on that and we'll layer it onto the purple that I cut I think well there's not really that much difference in these two in terms of size like there was yesterday so I might I could have probably just used the two different sizes although the hello friend did not fit as well on the smaller size so we'll see I'm not doing a great job with cutting this may I also say of course I have my I've been wearing my um Hello, Linda. Thanks for joining me. Um, I've been wearing my glasses, my readers, on my head lately, like as a headband, because I keep finding that I need them and I don't have them. So I'm like, you know what? If I wear them on my head, then I have them. But then I forget. But I just put them on and that makes life much easier. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and cut that off. Okay, so then that's kind of the outline. Like I said, I did not do a great job at cutting that. I kind of feel like I want it to be a little bit smaller though, because that one's kind of large. Let me just look at this again. So, this one, like that. I want more of, I think I want more of the purple to show, you guys. But I don't know that the Hello Friend is going to, it's going to be tight, but I think we can make it work. So let me just, hold on, hold that thought. Let me just do this really quick. Let's cut out. Will that fit there? Oh, it might. Let's do that. I'll use my paper wisely. We'll cut that. So it looks like it's off the page, but did you guys know that the dies generally um, cut just inside of that metal? So that should be fine. So it doesn't go right to the edge. Hey, Becky. Hey, Linda. Hey. Thanks for joining me, you guys. We're doing a little fun fold on the fly. Yeah, that worked perfectly. And I didn't waste any paper. Gotta love that. 
All right, so let's try this again. So I think I'm gonna like that better. I just didn't like, this one didn't have enough of the purple showing. I like that pop of contrast. So we're gonna do this one. And then that will have the purple showing and maybe I can even do a little bit of a um, twine or something. So let's do this, move that out of the way. We're gonna do Hello Friend. I didn't even, I have not cleaned my desk up since Tuesday, so everything I used the other day in our virtual car class is still on my desk. So naughty. I was in a really good habit where I was cleaning my desk before I went home every day, but you know, like I said, I've just been kind of funky and just hitting the road when I felt like it. All right, so now we're going to push down on that a little bit, make sure we get good contact with the paper. There we go. That looks good. And then this can go here like so. Okay, I'm liking it, I'm liking it. But I do feel like I want a little bit um, of some black twine on here too. I don't know if it's gonna work on this purple one or not. We'll try it right along the bottom here where it's kind of square. We'll try to do a little twine like that. This can be tricky to tie because it's movable. What I probably will do is I'm just going to tie it in a knot right now. And then I do think I want a little bow, but I'm going to wait till I get it attached because it'll make it easier for me. Okay, so there's that. Leave that like that, and that will go there, and this is going to go on top, but I'm going to put that on with dimensionals, so let's do that. Um, I don't know, we're just putting dimensionals everywhere, like that. Again, trying to make sure we have um, dimensionals where it will make touch base with the cardstock. Sorry, that's probably really loud. I'm like right at the intersection and so it gets super loud here. But I wanted to make sure the dimensionals are touching the cardstock and not just the ribbon because otherwise they tend to like the sentiment will float around because it's only attached to the ribbon and not to the actual cardstock so it's not as secure. All right, so I'm going to tie this. I'm liking it. I'm liking it like that. I might even let it hang a little bit. I might leave a little bit of that. I think I'll attach this flat just because it's already a little bit bulky with it being a fun fold and um, that's popped. So I'll use my Stampin' Seal Plus because I want some good adhesion. Is that a word? It is now. So I'm going to put a little extra on here like that. And then we'll tape that in the middle. Don't want my ribbon to be taped underneath there, though. I'm going to stick that right in the middle, like so. And then, of course, we need some bling. So let's grab the um, rhinestones that I was using the other day. And we'll just put a couple of those here, like that. And then maybe one down here, like that. There we go finished card and it goes along with our set from the other day. Ta-da! I probably could have put some pattern in there actually. Maybe put that purple in there actually. I think I might do it after the fact. Let me see if I can do that. I'll see if I'm that talented. Uh, four by what is it? Four by two and a half. Let's cut another little piece of that purple four by two and a half and then I can tuck that in there too. Uh, four by two and a half. Actually, I'll do this because it looks like this is all creased. Um, so we can use that up. Four. Like that. There we go. Okay. And then we'll just grab some pattern, I mean some adhesive, and we're going to carefully stick it under there, hopefully. Hopefully I'll be able to get it under there and centered. 
Again, that probably would have been a good thing to do prior to putting it all together. There we go. That looks good. There. Finished. And then you got like that little pop of purple, which I kind of like. This is the part that was all bent and it's kind of bugging me. So let's add a little extra adhesive there so that stays down. There. Ta-da. Super cute. I like it. I think we did a good job improvising, right? So there was the ver my original version from last January, actually, I believe that one was from, of 2021. And I did the new version from 2022. And it matches our other set. So um, that's our finished project for today. Thank you so much for joining me for Thursday Throwdown. I always appreciate you hopping in and saying hi and watching along. And I would love to see it if you decide to case it, Patty. Please be sure to share. I love it. Um, I hope you guys have a great afternoon and that uh, it's a nice cozy weekend for you. The only good thing about winter, I say, is it's a perfect time for some crafting. So that will definitely be on my agenda this weekend too. So I hope you guys have a great weekend and we'll see you next week for another Thursday throwdown and it will be March already. It's craziness. All right, guys, we'll talk to you soon. Bye.